So in this video, we're going to look at uh, how you find the equation of a line once you've found the gradient. Okay, so let's say you are given the coordinates of two points and you need to find the equation of the line that passes through those two points. So you would need to find the gradient first. Okay, so let's say um, the two points were A and B. And let's say the coordinates were um, 7, 4, and um, 1, minus 2. Okay? And we're asked to find the equation of the line that passes through those two points. So first of all, you need to be able to find the gradient M. Um, so M, as we know, is the difference in the Y coordinates divided by the difference in the X coordinates. So what we can do is we can say minus 2 take away 4 divided by the difference in the x coordinates which is 1 take away 7. Now make sure that when you're doing this that the numbers line up so that these are the coordinates of one of the points and these are the coordinates of the other points. Okay? If too many students make the mistake of just writing down, like, okay, I'm going to have uh, minus 2 take away 4 over uh, 7 take away 1, okay? This will change the out outcome, and it's not the correct way to do it. That would be trying to find the equation of the line going through the coordinates uh, 7 minus 2 and uh, 1, 4, okay? So that's not what we want. So don't get them mixed up. You need to be able to see them as coordinates vertically. Okay. So anyway, backtracking a bit, we have minus 2 take away 4 is minus 6, and 1 take away 7 is also minus 6, so the gradient is just 1. Okay. So, um, with the gradient being 1, we can then say the equation of the line is y equals 1x plus c. But we're not going to bother putting in the 1, so we're just going to write it as y equals x plus c at the moment. It's now apparent that actually the only thing that I now need to find is the y-intercept. Okay, that value of c. Okay. So, in order to do that, what you need to do is you need to substitute in one of the two coordinates. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you substitute in, um, because effectively what you're doing is, if you substitute in either, you should get the same value for C, you should get the same answer. So if we sub in, let's say A, let's choose that one, okay, so the X is 7 and the Y is 4, so we have 4 is equal to 7, plus c. So that would mean that c is equal to minus 3. Okay, 7 take away 3 would make 4. So the equation of the line passing through a and b is actually y is equal to x take away 3. And that's the equation that I'm looking for. Okay, so this is, these are the steps that you would have to go through. Find the gradient between the two points first. Okay, that gives you the value of m, the number that's in front of the x, and then you need to work out what the value of c is by substitution. Okay, so there are other uh, types of questions that you can potentially get that are along this line. Uh, no pun intended there. Okay, so let's say um, you're told that um, the gradient of a line is equal to, let's say, 5, and you know that the line goes through the point 1, um, well, let's not do 1, let's do 2 minus 3, okay? We know that the line goes through these, this coordinate. Um, and then it asks you, right, write down the equation of the line that it passes through, okay, the, of this line. So, one way of doing that 
is to use our try and trust method. So that means we're looking at 5x plus c, because the 5, the gradient, okay, goes in front of the x. And then you can sub in a. Okay, so the x is 2, the y is minus 3. Minus 3 is equal to 5 lots of 2 plus c. So, uh, therefore, uh, well, um, we have uh, minus 3 take away the 10, so we've got c is equal to minus 13. Okay. Um, so, therefore, we have 5x minus 13 as being the equation that we're looking for. Okay. Depending on who you're being taught by, there is another way of writing down the equation of a line through a point. Rather than doing y equals mx plus c, there is also a way of writing it as y minus y1 is equal to m lots of x minus x1. Okay? And depending on who you're taught by, you might just get taught this, or you might just get taught this. Okay? What this does is that it allows you to write the equation straight down without having to do this substitution. So you can write it as y take away y1. So this is your y1, that's your x1. So y take away minus 3 is equal to m lots of x take away your x1. So x take away 2 in this case. Our m, sorry, is 5. Okay. Then you can multiply this out. So we have y plus 3 is equal to 5x take away 10, which means that we have y is equal to 5x minus 13, which is exactly the same as what we had there. So both of these variations work, um, but that's how you can determine the equation of a line uh, using the gradient or by using the gradient and the point, or by having the two points originally, find the gradient and substituting into y plus 7 plus 6.